Canada's first election was hardly a national election at all, but really four separate elections in the four existing provinces. Ontario was the stronghold of Conservative Sir John A. Macdonald, the single greatest political influencer at the time. He promoted Confederation above all else, and his nature as a wily politician who used every trick at hand gained him some crucial alliances. He quickly formed a partnership with Georges Etienne Cartier in Quebec, and that relationship went a long way in uniting English and French voters. It was much the same in New Brunswick. Samuel Tilley was a strong Macdonald ally, and he won support from more than half of the electorate in that province. The provincial black sheep was Nova Scotia. Voters there rejected Macdonald's ideas of confederation and instead supported Joseph Howe's separatist ideas, sort of a bloc Nova Scotia. One of the common aspects of that election, the rules for voting. Only white men who owned property could cast a ballot. In the end, it was no contest. Macdonald's party took 60% or 100 of the 180 seats available. The master political carpenter became our first PM.